Welcome back to Bexhill West. Today's video is all about computer aided design. Hi, I'm James. So today's video is going to be quite a short one and it's just about computer aided design and in particular one aspect of it um, which I'd like to discuss a little bit and that's the idea of sharing my design ideas and my thoughts. So it's quite regular in these videos for there to be a little screenshot of my computer aided design screen whilst I'm showing my design ideas for whatever it is I'm working on at the time. And in fact, I've got quite a library now of just about all the elements for Bexhill West, whether that's in a 2D format or a 3D format. Now, the 3D models are really useful because I can, on screen, kind of interrogate an idea and reiterate it um, before committing to any material. And I can overcome a lot of the design problems sort of on the screen. But I'm aware that when I show a screenshot, it, you know, it's... It's OK, but it isn't as useful to you as the viewer as, as it might be to me. On my screen, I can flip it around and take cross sections and interrogate that design in lots of ways. And what you see is just the little excerpt that I've screenshot or captured. And it may well be that you would be interested in seeing an aspect of the design from a different angle or a different cross section maybe to what I've shown. And so I've been given a great deal of thought to how I could share these ideas um, more fully so that for those of you who might be interested in having a look yourself, you can access that model and have a look at it and interrogate it as you wish. So what I'm going to do is show a, um, a format. This is just something I'm working on um, and it may be of interest to you. And then when I've shown you, I'll ask you a couple of questions about it and hopefully get some feedback via the comments section and see if you think it's something that is, there's any value in me continuing with. OK, so let's have a look at it. So the format I'm using to explore these files and, and sharing them is through a mobile phone app. So if I open the app, we've got some pre-programmed um, examples already in here. But if I scroll down, I'll open up my turntable, which I showed in the last video. Now, what I can do on screen is I can, with the usual sort of finger gestures, I can zoom in. In fact, if I turn the phone into landscape format, we can probably see it a, bit, a little bit more easily. And by touching on the screen, I can move this model around. And it takes a little bit of practice, but we can manipulate this any way we like. Now, it's quite hard for me to do at the moment because I'm actually watching this through the viewfinder of my camera or the, the screen on my camera. Um, whilst I focus on the, the model and it's quite, it's quite tricky to do. But that's basically how it works. So you can see the 3D model and you can interrogate it and have a look at it however you like. However, this really comes alive when we press a button on the side of the screen labelled AR. Now that stands for Augmented Reality. And at that point, if I press the button, the screen prompts me. It says you need a marker to see the model in Augmented Reality. Now the marker is simply a, a printout. So that gets printed out on your home computer and sits on the table. Now, if I point the lens of the camera at the marker, the marker effectively represents a, a point in 3D space and gives the, the software somewhere to kind of a fixed point. So I can move my phone around that marker and I can now view the model from any angle. Now this is really difficult to film because obviously to appreciate augmented reality I need to move my phone relative to the marker whilst filming it with a stationary camera so that's quite tricky. So what I'm going to try and do here is move the marker which will or move the marker relative to the phone which will have the same effect. So you can see if I rotate the marker around we can look at this model from any angle. Now, of course, this is much easier to do in real life. You just literally move your phone around and you can look at it any, any direction you wish. Now we can zoom in. And again, this is, this is much harder for me to do on screen than it is to do in reality. And as we move in, 
so we can start to see inside the model. And I really hope that the um, the, the camera's picking this up. I might I might pause the video and zoom in at this point. But you see the you see the idea. So my thinking is that by making files available in this format for anyone to have a look at, the, those of you with a, a mobile phone would hopefully be able to look at the models and enjoy them and maybe learn a bit more from them. So what we're watching now is a video screen capture from my mobile phone. And as you can see me scroll through the screens, pick the app, and now the moment I point the camera lens at that printed paper marker so the model appears. And as I move the phone around, you can see how it's possible to view the, the object, in this case the locomotive and turntable, from any angle. Now this is quite good fun and it's almost magical how it works, but I've no idea really whether there's any point in sharing this. Um, so really the purpose of this video is to see, would this be something you're interested in? The app itself is free. The, um, there's no more complicated to view a model on here than do just about anything on the, you know, access the internet on a phone. It's quite simple. I literally open the app, click the model I want and, and press that AR button. I think there's some interesting opportunities here. Let me know what you think, if, if you wouldn't mind. So there you go, that's the concept. It's a very simple piece of software. It's a free app. So anybody with a smartphone will be able to download it um, and then watch or have a look at the models I create in augmented reality. Now there's another function of that, whereby if you have a headset, you can watch the whole thing in virtual reality. And I'm quite excited by the idea of, of having Bexhill West Station building created in a sort of virtual reality format. So you'll be able to sit there with your phone on a little frame on your face and have a look around inside. That I think is quite an exciting possibility. And, and that's something I'm definitely going to be looking um, at kind of working on in the future. So there you have it. I've no idea whether sharing stuff in that format is of any interest to anybody. Um, so I thought I'd just make this short video. If that's something you think is interesting and it's worthwhile me putting the time involved in producing it, please let me know in the comments down below. Now I still need to think of a format for sharing those files. Um, and I'm thinking about creating a website and having them downloadable via a website. So that's something else that I'm going to be working on um, over the next few weeks to try and perhaps get something like that set up. An alternative is people just email me, but I've, I'm inundated data with emails as it is. So I, I don't well, I just wouldn't have time to respond to everyone individually. So I think that's the way we'll go with the website. But let me know if you know of another sharing platform, then please let me know in the comments as well. And, and that's something that I can look into. So that's it for today. Next week's video is going to be a, a bumper Christmas edition and there's all sorts of fun stuff planned for that one. So I shall look forward to seeing you all then. In the meantime, take care everyone. Cheerio.